Heidi Bellotto, host of Charlotte Living's Culinary Online, and today we're cooking with local product and using local eggs. Now here's the really cool thing about local eggs. Several things actually. First of all, look at the array of colors. These came from Chester Farms in Chester, South Carolina. And the different colors are because the eggs were laid from different chickens. That's the only difference. It has nothing to do with nutritional value or um, or anything else for that matter. But what you do need to know about nutritional value is that local eggs are higher in everything than commercially produced eggs and lower in all the things that are bad about eggs. So the fact that eggs produce cholesterol or all of that, local eggs are all much better for you, higher in lots and lots of vitamins. So we're gonna make an omelet with these eggs and really showcase them to show their fullest flavor. We're gonna take three of them. Now, the other interesting thing about local eggs while I'm cracking them, is that they're never the same size. So uh, they're not grated. You don't get like large eggs, small eggs. They all come mixed. It just depends on what the chickens lay in that day. And the other wonderful thing about local eggs is that they're incredibly fresh. So if you're buying local eggs from a farmer's market, those eggs were probably just laid the night before or the day before. Very, very fresh. And they'll last for a long time in your refrigerator. Also, look at the color of these yolks, really, really golden yellow, and that makes a beautiful final product. So we're gonna take the three eggs and, and just whisk them up, but we're not gonna homogenize them. You don't wanna do it with a food processor or a blender. You just wanna kinda nicely blend it up, just like that. We're not gonna add any salt or pepper. The salt will make the eggs a little bit tougher, but we are gonna add what is my husband's favorite herb blend, Herbs de Provence. It's a blend of, uh, mostly thyme, a little bit of marjoram, some lavender, it adds a great flavor. And I probably added about a teaspoon of it in there. So we'll blend that up. No milk, no water, just the eggs. Now we'll go over to the stove. We'll take some brie cheese, which is what we're gonna stuff this omelet with, and we'll get cooking. Come on. Now we're gonna cook our omelet in a French carbon steel omelet pan. So this has been seasoned and there's directions for doing that on the website. Heat up the pan, and when the pan is hot and preheated, we're gonna take a little bit of butter, use real butter, not margarine, because real butter will melt and sizzle, but won't burn as fast. Margarine's gonna burn when it gets hot. And speaking of hot, the handle to the pan is also made with carbon steel. So you wanna get some sort of pot holder that just slides right over the handle and stays there, because making an omelet happens too fast. So if you go to grab it and you don't have a pot holder in your hand, you're gonna burn the whole inside of your pan. Hand. So, got my eggs all scrambled up. I'm just waiting for the butter to melt. We'll swirl the pan around. You want, oh, I guess I have about a tablespoon of butter in there. Maybe a little bit too much. And the nice thing is you can always take a little bit out if you get enough in there. When the butter's hot and sizzling and covering the whole bottom of the pan, we're gonna take our eggs and just put them right in. Just like you were gonna make scrambled eggs. And in fact, we're gonna to start to scramble. Take your fork and lift it up and scrape it across the bottom of the pan. Go up and up and go around. And what you're gonna do is you're beating air into the omelet. And you're gonna keep doing this. Go all the way around the pan just until the eggs start to set and just start to look like scrambled eggs. Now, once it starts to set up enough that it starts to separate in your pan, see how like it's push some of it away? Then you're going to take, it's still a little liquidy, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. You're going to take the egg and pat it down into the pan, just like that. Take your fork and go all the way around the edges, and you can see how it lifts right up. Because the carbon steel pan, now that it's seasoned, has become nonstick. We're going to take some of the slices of brie and fill it on the side of the omelet opposite the handle. So you don't need a ton. It's not about who can make the biggest, fullest omelet, it's who can make the best. And the fact that we're starting with local eggs is a big step in the right direction. Now, we're gonna take the pan and tilt it slightly, take this side and fold it up and over the brie, just like that. If it cracks or splits in half or you have to do it in two pieces, okay, because that's the bottom of the omelet. Nobody's gonna see that. Now, we'll put our fork down, grab our plate, hold on to the handle of the omelet pan with your, the underside of your hand. Instead of holding it like this, the way you would cook with it, hold it underneath, hold on, and one, two, three, flip it out, 
and voila, you're ready to go. A fresh, locally made omelet, delicious for brunch or breakfast. I'm Heidi Bellotta from Charlotte Living's Culinary Online, and I hope you enjoy.